Hey guys, Keen here with another video and we are back after quite a significant amount of time with another video. Today we are playing Sea of Thieves and I'll be doing a short tutorial on how to get the fastest chest of ancient tribute that you possibly can. And today, well, first, let's flex those vanguard sails because, you know, you can't get them anymore. So, today we will be going to the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune and I will be telling you how to complete that shrine in under 3 minutes time. Which is equal to getting a chest of ancient tribute in under 3 minutes time. So stay tuned, enjoy the video, if you like it, hit the like button down below. Also make sure to join my discord in the description down below. And hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into this. Now that we have arrived at the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune, Let's jump into the water and follow this light beam spinning in a circular motion. And then if you keep following this down, you will eventually see the shrine. It will appear right about now. There you go. The shrine has been discovered. Um, so just keep following it down. And the place to go is by following the lights. So you see on the back side of the rock, it's very dark. But as where I'm looking right now, it's very bright. There's a lot of crystals. You know, so that is the point where you need to go to enter the actual shrine. So keep that in mind, let's go inside and I'll see you there. As we swim inside the shrine right now, you will notice that it's quite tall. It's quite tall in here. Might look a little bit scary, but um, do not worry. Because Rocket is here. Yay. Ignore that joke. But uh, what you want to do is climb up this ladder right here. And then just follow the wooden platform. So as you can see here. It was an elevator, it was a rope. So we need to lower the uh, the elevator thingy um, by using the pulley over here. And we're gonna run back. Now we can jump across that gap. So just jump across that gap. You do need do not need to do anything else here. Um, unless you want to go for journals and stuff, you do not need to go anywhere else. And you look at this little blue mushroom flower thing, and then there's another one over there. You need to use a sword jump. To get over there, as you can see right there, use the sword jump, and then you need to jump towards the bubble wall, as I like to call it. So you want to jump up there as well, there you go, and do not jump at this point. If you jump at that point, there's a chance that you may fall off, the game will just basically push you down, so just walk across the wall, do not jump. And now we're going to jump across the moving uh, wooden platforms, um, and keep in mind this flower, you cannot walk through it. It's like a barrier there, so if you try to sword jump there, you will just fall. Um, but I'm going to try to do it here, get hit in midair, but somehow managed to do it. And because the platform's still moving, that means the poles are still moving, but I managed to land it. If you can do that, then it does speed up the process a little bit more. Uh, and then um, you can just sword jump over this bit. You don't need to jump on that pole, it's not needed. Um, and luckily, managed to uh, dodge that attack from the siren. So, um, or not siren, electric eel person thingy. <laughs> uh, you can just run past all these mob spawns. You don't need to fight these guys either. If you're quick enough, that is. And just keep following the path up and up and up, as you can see here. More mobs will start to spawn here, but you don't need to fight them either. So keep following the path up and up. And then at this point, you actually don't need to turn the wheel. I don't know why I turned the wheel, but you don't need to. You can just jump up this bit. And then this wheel right here, you need to point the longest side towards your location, so you can walk over it, um, as you can see here. So jump over this, keep walking, jump up here and climb up the ladder. And now this wheel here, you don't even need to do anything with it, just so jump over, why not? Why not? And then the final wheel, you point the longest side towards you once again, as you can see here. Jump over it, walk over. And then you need to head into the crow's nest, just an easy jump, and then voila, your chest of ancient tributes in under three minutes time. Under three minutes time. And you can just drop it down here, or if you just want, drop yourself down there. Put it into the mermaid, and you are done. There's your free chest of ancient tributes in under three minutes time. 
Now we're back to the surface, as you can see, right ahead, the mermaid is there with the purple smoke. So, go talk to the mermaid, you'll get your chest of ancient tributes, but that is going to be it for this video, this tutorial. It's great to be back here, I apologise for the lack of uploads, but, um, during the time of lack of uploads, I've been streaming on Twitch three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, all at 5pm GMT. So if you're interested, make sure to check my Twitch link in the description down below. Uh, and I've also got a new channel, Rocket Shorts, which I upload twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday, at 3pm GMT. Um, so make sure to check that out if you want short clips twice a week. Check my uh, Twitch out for streams, join my Discord for family-friendly content and announcements when I go live. So yeah, thank you all for watching today. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't, dislike and uh, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>